Sunday to you. Just got off work this morning. Uh, it's been a week ago since I did my last video, so uh, at the end of that last video, I kind of told you I had uh, some shelves I was going to put in and and uh, that ARB fridge slide, so that stuff all came in. Um, I took out the last final seat that I was taking out for this project. Um, kind of give you an idea to show you here. Took out that chair there. Kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at here. So we'll have those two chairs. That's where this one came out. Um, so we'll have these two, and then the two front seats. So we're working on this section here today. So basically what I'm gonna do today is just get the, the fridge slide put in here, you know, get a cardboard template for the, for the base that I'm gonna put in, um, kinda get my mounting system down. Again, I'm gonna use the existing uh, mounts for the um, chairs that I took out. So we shouldn't have to bolt anything you know any new holes or anything in the van so again be able to take this stuff out one day if I ever want to just switch it back to a van so because um, the next project is getting this sink in you know so we're still in the mock-up stages so that's what's going on here so this was the last seat that's coming out so we're down to a four passenger at uh, at best and um, yeah so I'll just kind of take you guys along with me today uh, I might try and install the batteries I got two of the three batteries that I'm, I'm using here. I might put those in, test fit those. So again, this is all just a mock-up and some things might change as we go. I can already see that I might have to trim off a little bit off of this, this bed that I installed to make room for this cabinet, you know, with the sink on the passenger, passenger side of the van. So, all right, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll check back with you here in a little bit. All right, so this is the fridge slide that I bought. This is for the, uh, basically 37 or uh, 50 quart fridge so I have the 37 and uh, yep that's what uh, we're gonna be just kind of give you an idea so that's I'm thinking that's about where that slides gonna go and you just hit the little button here and that drawer will, will slide open gives me enough room there fridge will be in this area and that'll this will slide back underneath the cabinet. Push that button down. Yep. That's kind of what we're looking at there. Yep, and I'll have my water storage. So, all right. Just kind of get an idea. I'm going to get some cardboard and kind of make a little tape template for the base here. That's really the first thing. We're going to work this thing from the bottom up. All right, so we got the cardboard kind of mocked up through the slide on there just to kind of get an idea. Through a water bottle there just to kind of get the depth perception here. And this is the entranceway. Shannon says she wants this a little wider, but for me to make it wider, I'm gonna have to push it out towards the um, interior. So, I don't know. So I tell you, I can definitely say that I spend more time actually sitting here looking and thinking about how I'm laying this thing out that I'm actually doing build time. So I just, you know, this is kind of just build as you go. And I, got, I have an idea, but just how it's actually going to play out is coming to the end here. Okay, another little project in the process is right now I just opened up the back doors and slid this bed back a little bit to kind of give me some access back here this is where the battery is going to go um, but to get these seats out got to stick some screwdrivers in there and kind of pry them out if uh, if you look online for a Ford Transit seat removal you'll see what they're doing with a screwdriver to kind of pop them out and with the bed move forward you can't get back there so the first two set of seats that I took out in the back, um, they got a right-handed shoulder strap and a left-handed shoulder strap for safety belts. The back row itself has like a quick release handle to pull up and pop the seats out. So I'm swapping out this 
left-handed shoulder restraint two-seater for one of the other back rows that I took out and I'll show you that. Right, this one you can kind of see how it's got these quick grab handles. So you can pull this one out. The only difference is this one with the quick grab handles, the seat does not recline, but we're talking like two inches. Not even worth uh, calling it a recliner. So I'm gonna swap this one out for the one that's in there. And just to make it easier to get this seat out or to pop it up to get to the battery bank, I'll show you what I'm doing there. All right, gonna repurpose one of my kids' old uh, hockey laces here. Okay, all right, still like I said, mock up, right? So I tied a string off to that handle there. That'll run up, clip on the uh, clip or get tied off, whatever, to the headrest post here. So that way, I really don't have to get access to the back. I'll just reach over the top here, and I'll have one on, on each handle, give it a pull. And when you pull on that string, yeah, see. So when you pull on that string, you're retracting, and then the whole seat will just, you know, kind of tip forward and give me some access. So, all right, a little more detail than probably needed, but I'll show you what it'll look like from the back. Nobody's going to see it. All right. All right. So you need to get those guys off. Just reach over the seat, grab the two ropes, whole seat tips forward. That's what we're doing there. You're rustling trying to get these. Uh, seat mounts to pop out and then i realize if you can see it it's actually bolted in like the single seat on the other side so all right let me try and get that out i was able to pop the seat free once i got that bolt out back there so what a pain in the ass hopefully this other seat fits in there so i can get in and out a hell of a lot faster we'll see all right no test fit or nothing let's see if this is gonna fit in there the better fits in there. I think it fits the same. So the only better thing now is I can reach up pull these two and tip this forward. Slide. The ability to you know tip that forward real quick gives me good access to the batteries here instead of fighting with what I just went through so I'll just pop right back in. Good to go. Yeah. Pull the ropes. Yeah, I'll probably do it one handed. Pull the ropes. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Alright, so. That worked out pretty good there. Alright, one thing that. Popping that seat in there. I actually think. This seat, which is one of the. The very last row, there was a. A left-handed swing and a double-setted right-handed, you know, shoulder strap swing. But let me measure these up. All right. So the ones that pop out real easy are okay. Thirty. I'm gonna call it 31 inches. Let's see what the other ones. These guys. This is the one I just took out. Almost 36 inches. All right. So I'm gonna measure the offset here to the right to the left and see if I either shaved an inch off the aisle side or was it just pushed more towards the wall of the van. We'll check that out. Alright, so this seat that I'm putting in, the seat I took out actually went another inch or two towards the wall. And what did I say this guy was here? Thirty and a half. So we're looking almost six inches. So, okay. So, lost a couple inches over here, and about uh, the other one went three or four more inches out into the aisle way here. So, actually, I think that's going to work out. Didn't know that was going to happen, but uh, I didn't realize those seats were slightly different. Same bracket, same mount, same setup. This bench is just a little bit narrower. No big deal. That's gonna actually work out good, I think. You can tell when you sit in it, you know, that there's a, a little more room here than what it used to be, but we're gonna free up some aisle space here. Good, I think that's gonna work nice. Worth the trade off of the uh, ability to quickly pop this seat forward, get to the battery bank. 
that's a, a definitely a well well needed trade-off cool okay just to kind of temporarily get four screws holding this uh, lid shut to where the batteries will be stored yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking I remember when I built this at this you know kind of decorative cover here was gonna make it I made it way too close Actually, it was kind of an afterthought, and that was just enough room to fit. So I take this off to get the batteries in. Yeah, we got to rework. Oops, we got to rework this one. All right, five screws to take out that that face plate there. Now I'll be able to drop the batteries in. All right, I got two of my Group 31 Deep Cycle uh, AMG batteries in there, so there should be enough room for the third one. That's kind of the way it looked like it was going to work out when I was doing some measurements a while ago so all right batteries are in we'll see I how measured it up so yeah I'll fit three batteries in there no problem with a little spacer you know three quarter inch spacer in between each battery so that should work all right I've got these bolts two there one back here so three of them for now um like I said, just just trying to get this fitted up and see. So that's where we're at now. All right. So end up what happened today is uh end up getting the two batteries put in there. I mean, they're not hooked up, but they're in. That's uh, a step for the next project. I want to get that in while I was doing the seats. So I swapped out that seat. That's going to be easier to to access the batteries down the road. Uh, started with the cardboard template. Here on the bottom piece, I'm going to bolt in. Ended up moving up to a sheet of half inch plywood. Just uh, again, you know, this is just mock up, test fit. Uh, probably end up using like a one inch sheet of ply down at the bottom as the foundation to kind of build off of. So, and then uh, I am going to have one attachment point on the wall there, which was the uh, one of the factory seat mounts. So that's going to just add some stability. So we'll have four attachment points there. Uh, got the got the fridge slide bolted in again, just to kind of test fit some things here. And uh, the water jug. So, yep, yeah, this is it. This is kind of what I did today. So I spent I don't know five or six hours at least mucking with the stuff. And uh, I know it doesn't look like much is done, but we got a little. A little bit of work done today so all right so thanks for watching today's video on uh on the van build update so we got a little bit done today so little pieces at a time I'm definitely not in a race so um we'll see how it goes so thanks for watching we'll see you next time on a big transit adventure Peace.